Hey guys, so earlier today I went and saw the new Haunted Mansion movie. Uh, yeah, I, if you don't know, I have been on vacation for a week. That's why I'm now doing the review now on Sunday and not like on Friday when I usually do my reviews. Um, literally, I did my review for Gran Turismo and then the next day I left <laughs> to go on vacation. So, yeah. Uh, and I was, I had a very, very long day yesterday, and then I had to get up early to go see the Haunted Mansion, and went, uh, cause I'm like, alright, let's go catch up on, it's like, alright, I gotta go catch up on some of the movies I missed, I'm like, what did I miss? Haunted Mansion. Yay! <laughs> is my reaction. Very much just like, alright, fine. I'm like, the new... Fi financial flop that Disney has released because every fu like every fucking hell any studios big studios released every like every movie in the last few months I swear to God has been fucking a financial flop it's getting ridiculous like between this and the SAG uh, strike and the writer strike and everything that comes out bombing Hollywood's in trouble <laughs> like Hollywood's in big fucking trouble I mean how do you I mean how the fuck do you not expect this movie to fucking bomb it's the haunted mansion this is a second attempt at making a haunted mansion movie why is this why is there two attempts at making a haunted mansion movie who's asking for this other than studio execs nobody <laughs> and I'm like, because I remember the last one was a fucking bomb. I, like, I, I barely even remember the last one. Now, I remember, the only thing I remember about the last one was that, one, it had Eddie Murphy in it. Two, and I saw it, like I said, I did see it, but I barely fucking remember it. All I said, I remember is Eddie Murphy was in it. And two, it came out like a year after Pirates of the Caribbean, the first Pirates of the Caribbean, and it was trying to... Match the success of Pirates of the Caribbean. Trying to do what do what that movie did for Pirates of the Caribbean and the ride, and do it for the Haunted Mansion, but it failed. And so apparently Disney just doesn't learn their fucking lessons, and they just start they keep just funneling money into everything. The nonsense fucking movies, and they're losing a lot of money because of that. Um, fuck it. I like, anyways, yeah, I like, I, I wasn't, as you can tell, I wasn't exactly looking forward to this movie. I mean, it didn't look bad or anything, it just looked like, why am I seeing this? Like, why is this being released in the theaters? And like, in the meantime, like, this is coming off of a week where I'm reading that. Movies are being delayed because of the writers and actor strike. And right now, I don't even know how many movies I'm going to be getting. Because a lot of, there's a lot of movies that were supposed to come out like in a few months from now that are being delayed. And there's probably more to come. And I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to be reviewing from this point for the next few months. I have fucking no idea. Um, I, like, I'm expecting, like, movies that are supposed to come out in August are going to probably be pushed back, to. I have fucking no idea. So, why the fuck am I sitting here watching goddamn Haunted Mansion? I don't know. Like, what is, did I really need to see this? <sighs> Despite all that, even bitch, like, complaining, this much bitching and complaining, the movie isn't that bad. It's just not that good either. <laughs> it's like... It's generic. It's nothing. It's it's not even it's not offensively bad. It's not great. It's just there. That's all that's that's the best review I can give to this movie, is that it's just there. It's just a corporate chill of a nothing movie. <laughs> like I've, I've ever fucking seen it. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I'm getting this worked up about Haunted. I'm just like, I'm just irritated. I don't know why I'm so fucking irritated about 
I, I don't know. I'm just, maybe it's been long fucking, I've had a long couple of days, but I don't know. And then, like, like I gotta sit here and try to figure out, remember, okay, what do I remember of this movie? Because I saw this movie at 12.30. It's, like, 11 o'clock at night. How much do I remember of this movie? I can pretty much remember what I, most of this movie in that. Like, because this is one of those movies, you, like, it's, but also at the same time, this is one of those movies that you're, like, so generic and forgettable. You're, like, how much of this movie can I remember? And I'm, like, I don't know. Uh... I remember, I, 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 there are positive things I could say about this movie. I did like, uh, what was it, like Keith Steinfeld? I forget what his name is. That, that guy from uh, uh, Sorry to Bother You, which every time I see him, I'm reminded of that movie. And every time I get reminded of that movie, it makes me smile. Is that was such a weird fucking movie. I remember be watching Sorry to Bother You and watching this piece of shit. <laughs> this forgettable piece, at least, even though if that movie is bizarre and what, like, like, in the steps it takes or in the directions it goes, uh, at least it's fucking memorable. This is just forgettable. Um, he is good in this movie. I give him fucking credit. He is really good. He's always been a really good actor. Like, I don't see much. I see in a movie every once in a while. And I, I think the guy's really good, man. Um, yeah, Lakeith Stein Stanfield. Yeah, I just want to make sure I get his name right. Um, also, I liked um, what do you call it? Rosario Dawson. I think she's great. Uh, she's great in this movie, and I, like she's generally likable actress. I love her as an actress. I've been a fan of hers for a long goddamn time. Um, I'll say this: this movie does start off kind of on a high note. It did start on off on a good note. And make me think, okay, maybe this movie is not going to be that bad. Where it did get a few laughs out of me. Um, from the scene where you meet Lakeith Steinfeld and his character after you see his introduction where he was married to a woman who's now dead and like he's trying to take over her tour guide. She had like a tour, she had a tourist, uh, um, Tours a uh, company that tourism company that would do tours tours over all over like Louisiana, New Orleans, and all their like ghost, uh, all their haunted places or whatever throughout Louisiana. And he just he takes over it at the beginning of the movie, and he he just hates his job, and he has to deal with these fucking idiot tourists. And it, it did get a chuckle out of you, like, some of the fucking stereotypical dumbass tourists that you could probably do see in a fucking New Orleans or Louisiana. Uh, really just idiots. Uh, I mean, you see them on every, people like that pretty much a nonstop every day. Um, but then, like, it cuts to Rosaria Dawson right after that and her son. And when they first get into this house... And I did love that introduction to those characters because it starts out like when you first meet them, they go to this new house and it's so fucking decrepit and has cobwebs and just looks nasty. And they're trying to, Rosario Dawson, the son's like, yeah, fuck this shit. I don't want to be in this house. Rosario Dawson's like, oh, come on, give this place a chance. The uh, kid's walking around and. And then he starts seeing ghosts and weird shit starts happening. And he's like, Mom, there's ghosts in this house. This, this place is haunted. She's like, calm down. This is just all in your imagination. While she's saying that, a fucking, like, a metal or uh, metal uh, armor uh, guy was, like, just panning over into her view into her view and just moves on it by itself and at that point she goes okay yeah you're right let's get the fuck out of here and fucking bolts i was like is it like no like not like oh the ghost stop her from going in getting out of the house no she bolts she gets in the car and drives off and i'm like wow that's a short movie it's like all right i was like Lord, how the fuck are you gonna do a movie for, like and then but at the end of the day, 
you end up meeting her again, and she's back at the house, which I was like, okay, what the fuck? How the, why the fuck are you back in this house? They do explain it, in that, like, no matter what, even if you leave the house, the ghost will follow you. Now, if you go into this house, some type of ghost that lives in this house will follow you, no matter what. So you can't leave this place. So, it's like, I get, it's like okay, at least they explain that. But after that, like I said, after that, like, kind of funny introduction, and I'm like, okay, maybe this movie's not going to be that bad. It just becomes generic and nothing. And really, the jokes fall flat. The ghosts don't look look like rejects from the Ghostbusters, uh, female Ghostbusters from 2016. They don't look very good. They just, nothing about this movie feels inspired. You fucking waste people like Danny DeVito, Owen Wilson, Jamie Lee Curtis, Tiffany Haddish, fucking Winona Ryder. What? <laughs> There's a fucking cameo by Winona Ryder. I don't know why Winona Ryder's in this movie, but spoiler alert, she makes a cameo as like a tour guide throughout like at the very end of the movie. At first, I was like, is that Winona Ryder? And then she started talking, and I looked at her more, I'm like, yeah, that's Winona Ryder. Why are you in this fucking movie? And, and she never pops up ever again. I'm like, <laughs> like, like, maybe it would be funny if she was, like, the same character from Beetlejuice or something, but I know Disney don't own fucking Beetlejuice. Surprisingly, they don't own Beetlejuice yet, but uh, of all things they don't own is Beetlejuice. Uh, I don't, I, I, I don't know why she was in that. Like I said, you waste really talented people that are just there. They're, there's no point to them being those famous actors, to them being in this fucking movie. Like, other than to have recognizable names. But then you just sit there going, man, these people are being fucking wasted. These really talented people are being wasted. I hate that. I hate that about this movie. Fuck this movie. <laughs> like stuff that like that shit irritates me. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of this movie. Also, I had a fucking audience in this movie. I I, I was not the only one in the theater. And there's this mom and her two little girls that sat behind me, and the little girls were scared because it's a Haunted Mansion movie, and. The parents act like they're surprised. I'm like, dude, it's a movie called Haunted Mansion. You should probably figure out whether your kids might like this or not like this before you watch this fucking thing. I mean, there's some stuff that probably would be terrifying for little kids. My niece probably would be terrified of the fucking shit. And there's fucking a lot of, like, a lot of the ghosts are, like, ghosts because of beheadings. There's a lot of talk about beheadings and, like, women butchering their husbands and shit like that. Like, what the hell? PG-13 Disney. All right, whatever. I mean, it doesn't get really that dark, but it's about the darkest it gets. I mean, it could get darker, but it's Disney. They don't, they don't take risks. They don't ever fucking take risks, so what the fuck would you expect? Uh, yeah. That's how I mansion skip it. Yeah, whatever. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. Um, yeah, that's how I mansion. What's next? What's this week? Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. That looks a lot of fun. I'm probably gonna like that movie. I guarantee I'll probably like that movie. And the Meg Trench 2, yay. The Meg 2 Trench, the Trench, yay. As I really wasn't that big a fan of the first one, but maybe this one will be good. Uh, but until then, I'll talk to you guys later.